What specs and numbers truly matter when it comes to card drying performance? Evaluating card drying equipment is essential to look beyond the marketing buzz and focus on the specifications that truly drive performance. What really makes a difference? Is it just the volume of air or does wind speed and temperature have an impact on drying performance too? These are not just technical details. They determine how efficiently water is removed from your vehicle's surface, how safely you can work around delicate paintwork and how much time you save. In this video, we clarify which performance metrics matter and how a full range of blowers compare against each other. And we will benchmark the active prototype blower to see if we can hit the mark or even get close to the performance spec. To provide a clear and objective comparison, we'll be testing several key performance indicators when it comes to car drives. We'll be testing the airspeed to measure how forcefully the blower moves water, air volume to assess overall coverage, current draw to evaluate energy consumption, and the noise level for practical real-world usability. These data points will offer a comprehensive view of what each unit delivers beyond just what's on the box. Now, a quick caveat, by no means is this a scientific test. They are just trying to see relative performance with some control measures in place. And this is done to see if the active blower can meet expectations or even exceed them. So on the wall over here, we have a 120V 60 Hertz 50, uh, 20 amp socket, which can you know, test both the 15 amp and 20 amp blowers. On my hand here, we have a sound meter. So I will test the sound of the blowers from set distances. So one at the blower itself, uh, one feet away, and then at uh, six feet away as well. So we've got a tape measure here, got some blowers stacked up here on the table. I've got a few other blowers on the ground over there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug in the single motor and uh, test its noise level and current draw with the hose on that was provided with it. So the current draw is 8.9 amps, 87 decibel, 86 decibel, A plus B, 18.4 amps, 85, 82 and 16.2 79 76 13.2 amps 73 decibel 71 Here we have set up well, a makeshift uh, real world example, I guess. And then we're going to see how long it takes us to blow off the water from the hood. Now, it's very hard to get like for like results with different blowers because, you know, I will approach the drying process differently from blower to blower. Can't keep it consistent. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to do three tests per blower and get the average time for each blower. And hopefully that might kind of negate some of the differences from blower to blower. Now the hood of this car is a standard hood. It's not coated, so it's gonna take longer for the water to go off. And um, there's a camera up here to give you kind of a top view of me, you know, navigating through the hood. And let's see what the numbers are once we're done with the test. So starting off with the Metrorack single motor, let's see how it performs. The next part of our test is to kind of get the performance and we got our aninometer set up here. The camera fits in the aninometer so you can see the readings. We've got to start with the Metrovac single motor, it's plugged into the wall. We're going to turn it up a bit and um, see what the wind speed and the uh, airflow volume is going to be like. Um, so I'm just going to hold it as close as possible to the sensor and see what the reading is. So it's stopping off at 122 meters per second. That works out to about 88 meter cube per hour. 
So it's topping off at 165 meters per second. That works out to 120 meter cube per hour in terms of air volume. So it's topping off at 97 and that results at 11 at 133 CFM. So So with a single motor, the active tops off at 142 meters per second with the Metrovac nozzle of eight. Essentially what we have done is we have bridged the gap between the Metrovac 10 and the Metrovac 20 amp models. So the Metrovac 10 amp gives 120 meters per second in terms of um, airspeed whereas the Metrovac 20 gives 165 meters per second in terms of airspeed and the active single motor gives 142 meters per second uh, in terms of airspeed. So we're right in the middle of the both of them and we're hopeful that we could probably have a bit more performance gain once we go into production. That's kind of the takeaway. You don't really need to have a dual motor set up to have good performance. You can achieve it with one provided that you, provided that the manufacturer has kind of, or you know, the brand has optimized the motor performance in terms of delivering you uh, airspeed and volume that enables fast cleaning. We keep pushing. I think we are almost there in terms of motor performance. Be mindful that the 140 of the active is with some air bleeding out from the sides because the hose doesn't fit in. We probably can get about 10 meters per second more in terms of performance. And uh, what we'll do is in the next video, we will 3D print the Metrovac nozzle and put it on the big boy hose with the active and see how it performs without any air bleeding out. So we'll catch you then. And hopefully we can resolve the issues with the big boy that we had in terms of the motor and the current draw and uh, have a more comprehensive review at that point. That's kind of it for today. I think we are there in terms of sound. We are almost there in terms of performance and we keep pushing the next video to make sure that we have a better result uh, for the active blower and give us the thoughts. We hope you like this video and uh, we hope you like our product and we'll be out there in the market soon with something that will be as better than our competition at a much more affordable price point.